Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's Gabriel. Just another fan TV. Back at you another video. Like the content of this video. Go ahead, smash that like button, man. Like the content of this channel. Go ahead, hit subscribe. Uh, more Ravens training camp news coming at you right here in this video. Uh, every day, there's going to be a training camp practice. We're going to drop a video talking about it. So today is no different. So let's get right into it, all right? Now, uh, the Ravens had to cut a few players. Uh, they cut Robert Jackson, apparently a uh, cornerback, and they cut Chuck Wiley, outside linebacker. Um, now, the reason that these guys were cut is apparently uh, is to make room for guys that came back. Now, the big news of the day is Marcus Peters is back on the field. Ravens cornerback, Ravens starter. Um, honestly, one of the most important players on this team is back on the field and looking good, looking healthy. The Ravens are getting healthy. The, that that pup list of guys is starting to dwindle and getting smaller and smaller. And the Ravens are going to be ready I think they're going to be almost at full strength to start the regular season, right? Um, I think Ronnie's going to be the next guy to come back. Uh, I think Gus is still a little ways away. Ojabo and Bowser are still a little ways away. But I think Ronnie will be back next, and the Ravens will be really ready to go to start the regular season. Now, guys who also came back, okay, are uh, Darius Washington, uh, safety. Young, talented player, but the Ravens already have about five legitimate safeties right now. So he's kind of far behind in that race. We'll see if he can make it up, have some make make some impressions during the camp to where that Ravens have to make some serious considerations about him. Because the way I view it, obviously, uh Marcus Williams, Kyle Hamilton, Chuck Clark, that's three safeties right there. Then you throw in obviously Tony Jefferson and then Geno Stone. That's five safeties. I don't know if the Ravens are going to carry six safeties and add on Darius Washington into that mix. So he has some ground to make up. So we'll see what he does out there today. Um, I'm sorry, not out there today, but, you know, going forward. Um, Justin Matabike back. Now, we know he was suffering with the migraines and everything like that. So I'm glad that that was able to be uh, subsided and dealt with. And he's back on the field. Also, J.K. Dobbins is back. And this one is huge, man, because this lets me know that his rehab is going the way it's supposed to go. The plan was for him to miss Saturday, Sunday, and come back Monday. And the fact that he did that, that's great. Harbaugh said that J.K. looks better this week than he did last week. And that's what you want. You just want constant progression, all right? So that's beautiful, okay? Now, what happened on the field, right? Now, what happened on the field? Um, Chuck Clark versus Mark Andrews in some one-on-one -on -one matchups, right? And believe it or not, Chuck Clark actually won both matchups. So this might be the first time I've really heard of Mark Andrews losing a one-on-one -on -one battle and then to lose it twice. That's impressive by Chuck Clark. So shout out to Chuck Clark for making that for making that happen. I mean, he knows that this is a big year for him, whether he's auditioning for a new team next year or going to be uh, with the Ravens for the long haul. He knows that what he does on this field this year is very, very important for, for his next step. So um, I like Chuck Clark. I think he was put in a bad spot. He was asked to do things he wasn't good at, such as, um, you know, being a deep middle safety and things like that. But I think this year he's going to get more down to being in that box, being that dime linebacker. The stuff that made Ravens fans like Chuck Clark in the beginning, he's going to get back to that now. All right. Now, we got to talk about him. Isaiah Likely was once again the star of the show. Um, highlight real catches all over the field. Apparently, there was a catch he made over at least three defenders. Uh, one of them happened to be Malik Harrison, acrobatic catch. Then there was another catch where they said he was a, it was a diving touchdown grab in the back of the end zone. Um, he's doing it in practice. He's doing it in the games. He's doing it versus stars, doing it versus whoever's out there, right? So Isaiah Likely, he's making a, he's making a strong, strong push to get a lot of reps from day one when we opened up against the Jets. Um, obviously, Andrew's spot is beyond solidified, but he's really making me think whether or not he should be out there on that field in that two tight end look just to start the game off and see what he can do. Because the way he's playing right now, it's going to be hard for the Ravens to keep him on the sideline for um, a lot of plays, man. You know, when I said, I think I think maybe a week or two ago, I said for if Isaiah Lincoln can catch 40, 45 passes this year, that'll be a really good season, right? I think I'm almost starting to expect him to catch that now, 40, 50 passes. That should be an expectation because if he's playing this well against a good defense every day that he's seeing, uh, I can only imagine what he's going to do when the Ravens uh, face teams that aren't as good as the Ravens defense. You know what I'm saying? So Isaiah Lightly is making a strong, strong push for a lot of minutes, a lot of plays on the field. 
And um, he hasn't showed any, slides, any signs of slowing down yet, so I'm not going to expect him to. Now, he wasn't the only Raven wide receiver, I'm sorry, Ravens weapon in the mix today. Uh, apparently, Devin Duvernay caught a long uh, touchdown pass. Well, it was about 35 yards, so a nice, nice, nice touchdown pass. Uh, he was in the mix heavily, and obviously, Mark Andrews was heavily in the mix, as he always is. Uh, multiple catches, 10, 20, 30 yards. Um, just being the, uh, really, he's the number one target on this team, and that's what Mark Andrews is. Um, that's not going to change, no matter whether it's Rashad Bateman, Isaiah Likely here, you know, James Prochet, Devin Duvernay. The offense, when it's clicking, is going to go through Mark Andrews when it comes to that passing game. Um, that's still Lamar Jackson's favorite target, and that's not, that really hasn't changed. Um, now, I didn't really hear too much about the defense as far as what would happen today on their side of the ball, but I will say this. Marcus Peters being back is huge for the defense, gives them that confidence, gives them another playmaker out there on the field. Um, also, Calais Campbell was doing like his post-practice uh, press conference, you know, talking to some of the reporters. And I think they asked him about Travis Jones, and all he did was, like everybody else does, gives, just gives glowing reviews about Travis Jones and what his potential is and how he's been so impressive during this opening part of training camp. And um, we believe it. We saw it in the game. We saw him right down the league. Well, it's all make a play. So the Ravens have a lot of talent in uh, terms of rookies on offense and defense. Now it's just about whether or not those guys get the playing time and really get a chance to put it out there on the field, Okay. Uh, I do want to mention one more thing. Uh, Calais Campbell, J uh, Justin Houston, and Josh Bynes did not practice today. But just veteran days, it seems like, seems like none of those guys are injured. Just the Ravens constantly rotating guys around on who's practicing and who's not. So that's the China Cat Report for today. It's your boy Gabriel. Just another fan TV. I'm out.